Hey guys and welcome back to Bruffington. Today you're gonna hear a story about Bo's one year old doctor appointment. It was just a well check, but a lot of things happened and it's kind of made me a little worried. And I forgot to bring my, well I didn't forget, I just, I didn't wanna vlog this appointment because I'm really uncomfortable bringing the camera into like the doctor's office and you know they have all these rules about cameras when you're getting shots and things like that. So for now you guys can just enjoy this very special once in a lifetime reenactment of Bo's one year old doctor's appointment. Here we go. Oh my goodness I'm just so excited that Bo finally turned one. I know he's getting so big. Hi, doctor. Hi, doctor. Um, I don't remember you being a small child. Oh yeah, I'm normally a grown woman. This is just my Lego form. Well, we're super excited to see you. I'm just gonna Bo's stick him over really here on this table and, and stand by him. He was sick last thing. week, but he's better now. And yeah, I'm really excited for Bo. He's getting so big and cute. All right, so the first thing we have to do is take a little bit of his blood for a blood sample. This is just normal one year old oh, checkup. Oh, no, it's so safe. You're gonna be okay. okay. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go uh, put this blood sample in and see what comes out of it. Hmm, I've never really had that blood sample taken before, but I guess it's supposed to be a routine thing. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Fine, 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 fine. Hey guys, fine, so fine, I just fine, got fine, the fine. blood sample test back, and it looks like Bo has abnormal amounts of lead in his blood. Uh, what now? Yeah, it seems like he's been in contact with some lead somewhere, and we gotta figure out where that's coming from. And everything's just, this is just how it is, but it's very serious, so I'm sure we'll figure this out. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, let's just, I don't know what to do now. Where this is coming from. Okay, bye! So, yeah, there you go. Bo has lead poisoning in his blood. The number that they threw out there was like 4.3 or something like that. I don't know if that's percentage or like milliliters or I don't know. And then on top of that he had to get six shots because he had to get like just the normal ones plus a couple extra that we'd fallen behind on. And then on top of that he has a double ear infection. Really made me feel good. I was a really good mom going into his well check and he has double ear infection and I didn't even know it. And now it's just this dumb lead thing. As many of you parents know, when your kid has something that you have never come across before, the first thing you do is look online. So after we got home from the doctor, I went online and looked up what this means and what I learned, and this is what the doctor told me as well, I guess. I just wanted to double check with, you know, the internet. So lead poisoning in your blood um, can come from a couple different sources. It can come from old paint in an old house, um, or on toys. It could also come from lead pipes if your house is old and they still have lead pipes. New place builds don't use lead pipes anymore. Um, and then it can also come from if someone works at a place where there's lead and then they like track it back into the house. So after thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it, we still have no idea where Bo would ever be in contact with anything with lead. Zach goes to BYU and so there's just school, just a university. Definitely no lead there. And then all of our toys are fairly new. It's not like we have some, like a, a toy for my grandma or something that could have had it. Yeah, we're in, our house is like five years old or something like that. And so it definitely does not have lead pipes or any lead paint. So we're just baffled and we don't know what this means. Today we have to uh, take him to the outpatient center to get some blood drawn. That's not gonna be fun. Not excited for that. Don't get excited, Bo, you are not gonna like this. All right, we're on our way to the outpatient uh, hospital center thingy. So when we were at the doctor's yesterday and they told us that he had like 4.3% lead in his blood. What's lead? So annoying. I don't even know, Porter. Um, so because he has that 4.3% and it's not supposed to get over 3%, like if it is over 3%, then you have to go get like a more legit blood test. That's what we're doing. It's called like a venous blood test, I think. And then this test will let us know if the other one is actually accurate. It'll tell us more precisely what's involved. It'll help us, it's just the next step, and then if it's actually over 3%, then we'll have to take further steps into finding out where Bo is in contact with lead. Guys, 
I don't even know. I have no idea why, like, how he could even. I don't know. We gotta go. That was the worst experience of my mothering life. Oh my gosh, having to hold him down while I took his blood from his teeny tiny little veins. At least she got the vein the first time though. That was good. That was the worst. I can't imagine having to be like, just in the hospital scene constantly as a mom with your kid, like a sick kid. That's a rough life. What do you think, Bo? Fun. So they should have the results of the blood test back within 24 hours, and the doctor should call me. I just hope it's good. I hope it's good news. I, I honestly just hope that it was a mistake, the first blood test that had the traces of lead in it. <sighs> but I don't know, so we'll find out. Okay, so we got back from Bo getting his blood drawn uh, a while ago, but he just woke up from his nap, and I'm gonna take off his little arm thing. Can you guys see that? Yeah, so they had to, you know, just do it like they do with an adult. They had to do the tourniquet, is that what it's called? Ooh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> there, all done. All done. Aww. Did that scare you? It's okay, I'm sorry. Probably was so annoying on your arm. That's better, huh? <laughs> Okay, that's it today guys for my video. I hope you enjoyed my funny little stop motion thing. It's kind of a funny way to explain something that could be super terrible and serious, but I kind of wanted to experiment with stop motion anyway. So there you go. So I'm gonna update you guys on the lead situation, hopefully on Monday. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is Bruffington, just like this channel is. So you can follow me on Instagram, I'll probably update it there. Uh, real time so you can check out there how Bo is doing. I'm sure he's gonna be fine I have high hopes that even if he does have lead in his blood We'll figure out where it's coming from and end it there He's gonna be fine. I'm, I'm, I'm not super worried about it So anyway stay tuned for that information and also just for more fun videos here on Ruffington. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye